In unit four, we're going to talk about one-way and two-way ANOVAs. When it comes to research in the field of business, economics, education, psychology, etc., the analysis of variance, shortly known as ANOVA, is extremely important. This tool is a very common analytical tool and technique employed by researchers to make a comparison between more than two populations and help in performing simultaneous tests. A one-way ANOVA involves one factor accounted for, while a two-way ANOVA accounts for two factors being investigated concurrently. In a one-way ANOVA, the researcher takes only one factor, while in the case of a two-way ANOVA, the researcher investigates two factors at the same time. For example, in a one-way ANOVA, a researcher may be studying how background noise affects the way students learn. In a two-way ANOVA, however, a researcher may want to determine whether the brand of laundry detergent used and the temperature affects the amount of dirt removed from laundry. So it's a much more complicated um, experiment involving multiple variables. A one-way analysis of variance involves a high hypothesis tests where only one categorical variable or single factor is considered. It's a comparison of means of three or more samples. If it were simply two samples, you would use a t-test. It finds a difference among uh, different categories which have several possible values. And a null hypothesis is that the equality in all the population means and a directional hypothesis is that there will be a difference in at least one mean. <clears throat> this is commonly used um, by educational researchers as well as in other fields as we've already mentioned in business, psychology, etc. There are several assumptions inherent to ANOVAs. First, the normal distribution of the population from which the samples are drawn. Second, measurement of the dependent variable is at an interval or ratio level. Third, two or more than two categorical independent groups in an independent variable. Fourth, independence of samples. And fifth, homogeneity of the variance of the population. In a two-way ANOVA, as its name signifies, a hypothesis test wherein the classification of data is based on two factors. For instance, the two bases of classification for the sales made by the firm on the first on the basis of sales by the different salesmen and second by sales in various regions. It is a statistical technique used by the researcher to compare several levels of the two independent variables involving multiple observations at each level. <clears throat> two-way ANOVA examines the effect of the two factors on the continuous dependent variable. It, is also, it also studies the interrelationship between independent variables influencing the values of the dependent variable, if any. And it involves a hypothesis test wherein the classification of data is based on two factors and examines the effect of those two factors on the continuous dependent variable, as we've said. <clears throat> the two-way uh, ANOVA assumptions include a normal distribution of the population, measurement of dependent variable at a continuous level, two or more categorical independent groups in two factors, categorical independent groups that have the same size, independence of observations, and homogeneity of the variance of the population. <clears throat> if we look at a comparison between the one-way and two-way ANOVAs, the differences typically lie in the fact that you're dealing with two independent variables in a two-way ANOVA. Also, in the compares uh, row, you can see that for a one-way ANOVA, it's three or more levels of one factor, and on two-way ANOVA, it only has to be um, the effect of multiple level of two factors. <clears throat>